Hello, I'm Georgie Corridor-Cole and welcome to The Sherlock Show. Today we have fashion, beauty, food, the wonderful Ella Mills will be joining us. First up, it's things we love. Then Polly is here sharing her styling tip for pulling off a chic white blazer. Uh, who, who's not going to love that? Uh, later, Ella is answering 20 questions in 10 minutes, we hope. Uh, she's going to be covering everything from food to beauty to motherhood. Plus, Adiola is giving us the lowdown on the celebrity beauty brands that are worth the money. And finally, Sky McAlpine is showing us how to lay the perfect table setting for any celebration, large or small. And really, there is nobody better at it than her. But first, welcome, Patricia. Welcome, Heather. <laughs> how are you both? Yeah, really good. Really good. good. Happy to be here again. Yep. On this cold May day. Well, it's April, but is it April? Yeah. It's still <laughs> Just April. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when is May? Next week. Okay. Anyway. Next week. Someone say it's going to be the coldest May. Yeah, apparently yeah. so. Oh, God, I was thinking it was May already. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I know, it's a bit depressing. It was so lovely earlier in the week, yeah. and now, I know, I walked out of the house today, and I was like, ugh. And you've got a sheet yet. outside today. I know, I can't wait. <laughs> for hush. <laughs> yes, for hush. Amazing, amazing. It'll be fab. I've seen the product. It looks really good. Uh, anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here for things we love. My fave. Um, Heather, tell me what the things are that you are loving right now? So one of them, me and Hodge were laughing about this and I was so gutted I couldn't bring it in, but I've basically got myself a kneeling chair to work from at home and it's quite bizarre looking. Is that like a two level thing? Yeah, and it hasn't got a back to it and you basically sort of balance on it you're showing the picture yeah. right now. It's really... I see. So your knees go, at the, uh, like, rest on that front bit. That's how I do it. You can sit on it in different ways. So your knees are, like, tipping down. What's but you on don't, the edge? It is, it's like that. So you always, you're always sort of straight and flat. Honestly, it sounds strange, but I promise, once you sat in one... Yeah, your back's just completely straight. I can straight. see that. My mother's a physiotherapist. I think she'd be yeah. thrilled because yeah. it kills her. Well, they've been so around forever, these I was going to say, hilariously, we have one at home that is as old as me. Yeah, <laughs> but, I mean, but it, they have been around for a really long yeah. time. But Do they you just, use it? Well, it's my dad's. My dad, it's always been in my dad's study for like since I was born, I'm pretty sure. It's yeah. like, and does not, he, doesn't look as cool as that it, one. No, it is but he weird, still uses yeah. it. Does he? Yeah, he's 73 and is still... You know, it's it's, can I tell you that my husband has a standing desk so at his fine. office? Yeah, so and he stands up most of the day. Yeah. I'm like, you stand up all day. Yeah. He's like, yep. Does he have an Apple Watch? Because that's the reason that my partner does it. Yeah, <laughs> no. so he's constantly stand. telling him ah. to stand up. And he's oh, like, really? Whoop. No, he yeah. doesn't. No, it can lower. Yeah, is it one of those yeah, yeah. adjustable ones? Like, so we've got it? one that's quite cool that's just the legs. Oh, interesting. Um, so, because he had a nice desk, so he's still got the top of his nice oh, that's desk. good. And he's not had to like ruin the office with an ugly one. Fascinating. Yeah, he sort of paces up and down, I think, when he's on the phone. I was like, it must be so annoying. Anyway, so we've got your kneeling chair back in action. Back in action. Clever. Very clever. Uh, the next is CBD coffee. Yeah, so I got oh. sent some by a brand called Canna Coffee, and it's got a small amount of CBD in, and I drink quite a lot of black coffee. But this, it's like the perfect... I don't get the coffee jitters, but I definitely feel when I have this... I sort of like breeze in my walk to work. I just, there's just a weird, like, not a weird calmness, but I definitely think it works. Really? I do get the coffee juices. So. Yeah, well, tr honestly, try it, because it basically aims to sort of get rid of that sort of yeah. caffeine high, you know, the sort of ma mania that some people feel when they've had a strong coffee with the CBD, so it sort of like balances it out and it tastes really good as well. Maybe I need a CBD Diet Coke. Yeah, honestly, I, <laughs> I bet there'll be one be coming. Part. There'll be one coming. There should sure. be, shouldn't there? there will be. Unfortunately, I'm not a coffee drinker. There are other seltzers you can get that have got CBD in. Trip is a nice one. I know oh, Trip. Yes, I, I like Trip. I've yeah. tried them. But they're not Diet Coke. No. No. So. <laughs> um, and finally... And finally, yeah, so um, the kitchen is coming along, almost finished. Oh, I, I know, it looks so fab. I've bored everyone on the podcast this week, so I won't talk about it too <laughs> much. But yeah, something I've ordered to arrive in about six weeks is one of those sort of nice cafe curtains, because we're, um, you know, the ones that are sort of halfway up a window and you've got like a nice oh, yes. a nice brass pole and yeah. then yeah like some nice curtains you're so retro it's so <laughs> cool i love that heather we need to do a, we need to do a tour <laughs> well yeah a very short one but no <laughs> no basically because 
uh, we sort of overlooked because it's lots of tall flats looking at others. So I didn't want to get a full blind like we had now, but that feels like the right level to come up. So if I'm washing up, people down below can't see me. So they, they do the pole and the Yeah, and you can pick like loads of lovely different fabrics. So they don't have to look like nan curtains or anything. They've got some really <laughs> lovely hessy I was going to say, my family own a very, very old bungalow in Cornwall. And my grandparents bought it when my mum was 12. Yeah. <laughs> and... There, there is, it's only just gone a curtain instead of a cupboard. Yeah. That was oh, so yeah. revolting. <laughs> I mean, I almost couldn't go because I was just like, I can't cope with that curtain. Anyway, the curtain's yeah. gone. But that sounds way cooler. Yeah, no, it's a good, if you're in the, you know, in the market for anything like that, they've got some really, really nice things. So yeah, yeah that's lovely. Lovely. Great yes. tips as Thank always. You. Patricia, what's on your list? What is on my list? I'm trying to remember. I well, mean, I can tell you what's on that. List. Yeah. Cocoon Club. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, I, I said know. the right thing when you walked in. She walked in the drawer and I was like, oh my God, that's really cool, it that is. bag. Yeah, I love her. <laughs> it's amazing. I had a carry earlier. It's oh, great. Yeah, she's gorgeous. So um, it's Bottega by a Cocoon Club. So I don't know if either of you have used it. I'm sure you've heard of it. I haven't used um, it, but Maya keeps coming in with yes. a new bag. She <laughs> had a Bottega, then now she's got Loewe. I was like, have you been shopping? <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but yeah, obviously it's like a monthly subscription and you can... So this one, actually, I can have three months. Um, if I wanted to, I probably will swap yeah. it because it's What do you fun. pay? Um, so at the moment, they've got an offer on actually where you can get like quite a lot off. Um, but the premium, normally the premium one is 99 a month and the deluxe... No, premium, sorry, is 79 a month and the deluxe is 99 a month. For about a grand a year, you can have the it bag. Yeah. And it's quite nice, I think, if you're thinking, as I am, of investing in a bag, it's quite a nice way to test them out. Yeah. I guess if you work in the kind of job where it always looks impressive to have yeah. the latest, greatest bag with you. Well, that was kind of my thinking, because I do like my reels and stuff yeah. a lot, so it's quite nice to have the nice bag in that. I mean, I'm all for <laughs> yeah. cost per wear. I really am. But even I'm like, oh, here I am again with the same bag. Yeah. Um, do you ever have to join a wait list to get the bag you want? Yes. So that is the, that is the thing that I would say is like slightly... Um, frustrating maybe for like the Chanel's as you can imagine or like some of the Bottega's the like more popular ones um, they're like always out so you have to put on like a notification are they in really good have you had any yeah that... really this is my first one so okay. I can't speak for all of them but it's in great condition um, and do they do they penalise you if you scratch it or something so you do put down a little deposit and they that they say like normal wear and tear it's yes, really it's tempting really I have to say um, you've got an uni pizza oven on your oh, list nice I we are obsessed it's why, you know, it'd be nice if it could actually be summer, but we're, <laughs> we're still going. Pizza, <laughs> yeah. pizza, yeah. My fiance's out there, like, in the rain making pizzas. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got it for him at Christmas, and, like, the last few weeks, we're obsessed. It's, and, like, it's, it's making the pizza, it's also, like, making the sourdough. Oh, and do you make the sourdough? I do not. So I will have to caveat oh. all of this with that I'm not the chef in our household. Is he dealing, is he dealing with mothers? I was, <laughs> someone was explaining to me what a mother was. Yeah. And where you get it the other day, and then you do something to the mother, and you, I was like, we I'm, came back. We had a week in Portugal a couple of weeks ago, and came back, and I opened the fridge, and just was like hit yeah. with like <laughs> acetone smell. Is that the mother? I don't. Is is that it's what it for, is? Yeah, it's f know. fermented it's, yeast, basically. I mean, what? I was like, <laughs> whatever this is, it needs to go. Yeah, I think you can just buy the sourdough bases, kind of. Well, you can. Also, they yeah, send exactly. you the boxes. Don't yeah, so they? you can get it from them. We've also got a great farm shop near us where you can get like frozen labels. So. But it's great. And it's just such a nice one for having people around. Yeah. And, and finally. Oh, yeah. My final one. Which freeze I do remember the is Freeze the what Fear. So it's a new, I think it's BBC One, um, like reality show with Wim Hof, who's like obviously like the, the king of cold water. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's all these celebrities. It's hosted by Lee Mack and uh, Holly Willoughby. So it's, that was quite, it's quite good, um, fun to watch. And they do all these challenges of like, jumping into ice water and abseiling down like a, a really steep rock face. I mean, it looks absolutely terrifying, but I just sat there in the warmth of my own health home being like, <laughs> I would love to do that. I can't even take a cold shower, so I'm a while away, but it does, it looks great. And it, there must be something in it. Is it good? Is it good? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Well, it's, it's things really you love. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, so, good. Yeah. People think I'm musical mad, but I went to Moulin Rouge. I am desperate. I mean... I'm going again with my husband. Oh, he's so my cross. I went without him. You, I mean, honestly, 
sell the bag, the shoes, everything, <laughs> and go and get the best tickets. And it, it, it's just pure joy. Anyway, well, I took my children to see, which has been, it was third time lucky, cancelled twice in the pandemic, was Mary Poppins. Oh, oh amazing. And, oh my God. It was so good. I cried and cried. Oh, and oh God, cried. I would. And she said, as she left and flew up across the, I mean, literally. And I mean, my little five year old was just, oh, I mean, Aww. and she said, but you don't need me anymore. I'm off to help another family that needs oh. me. Oh, oh dear. so good. <laughs> it was so good. So, anyway, that was one of them. Was we went last time week. time good? Huh? Was Step in Time, you know, when they're on the rooftop. With oh, the yeah. Fair. Do you know, I've I never liked one. Step in Time. Oh, I, think oh, I, I used to love that. that. I used to fast forward Step in Time. Oh, no, that's the best bit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, what were my other things that I'm loving? Oh, earrings. So I'm breaking the rules today. I bought two pairs of rings. These arrived in my office yesterday, and it's a collaboration between Savvy, who is a Beijing-based influencer, and Missima, um, and they have yeah collaborated to create nice. this really kind of architectural, organic collection. Gorgeous. Anyway, I'm They're wearing so them today. Nice. Aren't they cool? I saw yeah. them when you walked in. They're lovely. They're I really love nice. battered hammered gold. Mm. Like any any big battered hammered gold yeah. earrings. I yeah. just Gorgeous. love. I think they just change the look. And these are like a double hoop. And yeah, they're really cool. Anyway, I love them so much. And then as I was remembering to bring them in today, I thought I had to show these. Oh, I saw these on your Instagram. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, so I'm so much fun. I am obsessed with these. Where are they from again? So it's Pearl Octopussy. Lou's actually got a phone chain oh, from them by Net. I got these on Koi Bird. Oh. Do you know Koi Bird? Yeah. yeah. Their edit is yeah, I, amazing. Off the back of your thing, actually. Did you check it out? Yeah, amazing. I mean, I don't know who she is, the founder, but her eye is, yeah. her by her eye is amazing. Like, it's fun and colourful. Anyway, these are, and yeah. you can actually slightly bend them, but. They're amazing. I, I literally saw them and I went three, so two, cool. one. And I mean, I did not even think twice. They're so cool. They make me so happy. <laughs> and finally, and actually it's our spring fair coming up. I've got not a reminder on. This weekend. <laughs> Good. I'm so, I love it when people say that. Not this weekend, next weekend. Next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We've got amazing brands. And actually this is in there. This is not an ad. I hasten to add. But... Um, they did send me a selection of product to try. It's called Sculpted by Amy. It's sold in boots. It's quite reasonable. And this is a cream bronzer. If you like the Chanel cream mousse bronzer, it's pretty expensive. I think this is awesome. And it's a lot less. This is the medium dark. And yeah, just with a brush, it's really, really nice. Their tan drops are also good. No. Anyway, that's it, that's it. Thank you, ladies. That was so much fun. Next up, Polly is showing us how to style a summer staple five ways. Hello, guys. I'm Polly Shilax's fashion broadcaster, and I'm back this month to show you five different ways to wear a white blazer. Everyone knows a white blazer is a bit of a staple in your wardrobe, particularly around spring, summer. So I've picked up this one from Pretty Lavish, which I think is such a good price point and a really great fit. And I'm gonna show you five different ways to style it. So let's get in with the first one. Going in with look number one, I've gone for a kind of more relaxed take on a suit with a kind of band tee and some flat sandals. I think this is a nice way to feel a little more polished, but it's not too stuffy. You can wear this day to day, maybe if you're going into the office and you've got a slightly more relaxed um, dress code, or dress on the weekend if you want to dress up a bit for an occasion. Um, so the tee is from Anina Bing. I'm loving this kind of washed black um, colours bit softer than a harsh black. And then to add a bit of texture to the look, I've gone for some raffia sandals, which are from Port and Pear. Again, I just think this adds a bit of interest to the look. Okay, so this is look number two. I kind of had wedding guest um, in mind when I thought of this outfit because a white blazer is really handy to have for wedding guest season when maybe you've got a dress that you need to be a little more modest for for the church for example or you just need 
an extra layer when it's a bit chilly. So I've gone for this lilac dress from Reformation. Um, it's a kind of sleeveless guy, so having a jacket on top of this is definitely necessary. I think the colours look really nice together. I mean, white sort of goes with everything, but particularly with this lovely lilac, it looks really great. Um, I think with a white blazer, it's nice to go for something slightly oversized with a dress like this. Anything too kind of fitted might feel a bit stuffy. So, so shoe-wise, I've gone for a pair of metallic gold heels, which are from ASOS. Again, I think the metallic just adds a little something extra. And this beaded bag from Zara, which I just think looks so premium for the price that it is, and it's a great way to add a bit of texture to the look. Okay, so this is look number three, going for a double denim look. Bit of a uniform here at Sherlock's at the moment. If you follow us on socials, you'll know that a lot of us are wearing this look, but for good reason, it's a great spring combo. And it looks fab with a white blazer layered over the top. Too hot for a coat, but maybe too cold to go without with just a denim shirt on. So the white blazer really does a good job of adding that extra layer, you can wear it indoors, you can wear it outside or take it off if you're feeling a bit too warm, but I just think it looks really nice, really fresh against the denim. Uh, the denim shirt is from Mango, the jeans are from Zara, I've got my usual size in these and they fit perfectly, so true to size. Some backless flats from Nicholas Kirkwood and a little basket bag from Mango as well and this again just adding a little bit of contrast to the look and a bit of texture, it feels nice and summery. All right, so this is outfit number four, something a bit different now. I know, stick with me, but I think this cycling shorts combo works really well, and I would wear this for a night out. I know cycling shorts are not, not everyone's cup of tea always, but I think the combo really works. Um, so I've gone for these cycling shorts, which are from Girlfriend Collective via Netta Porter. They're actually like yoga shorts that you could work out in, but I think they work just as well for this look as well. So you're basically getting two for the price of one. A little white bodysuit underneath from Zara. Um, some heels, which are from Topshop via ASOS. So I really like the kind of square toe and the thong vibe, just to kind of pull things together a little bit. I've gone for a gold chain belt, which is from Sandro. I kind of love that cinching in at the waist, really gives it a bit of added sexiness. And a little gold chain as well from Monica Vinader. I think it's nice with a monochrome look like this, just to add a bit of interest. We'll give this one a go next time you're going out. All right, so this is my final look for today and I've gone for something office appropriate. Um, so I've thrown it over this shirt dress from Massimo Duty, which I absolutely love. I spotted it on the website and I thought it was just a really nice contemporary take on a classic. It's kind of high neckline here with some button detail going on here. It's like a cap sleeve underneath so you can take the jacket off if you want to on a particularly warm day, but if you want your arms covered up then a white blazer goes really nicely. We've got some white loafers. Again, I think just feels a bit fresher than a darker one this time of year. I love the gold buckle detail on there. I think that just adds a bit of something extra. I think as we have proved, a white blazer really does go with just about anything in your wardrobe. So if you haven't already invested in one, get to it immediately. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Polly. I loved all that. Now, of course, you'll have heard of Deliciously Ella, a plant-based food and wellness platform sharing delicious ways to feel better. It all began as a blog, then a restaurant, then a range of plant-based food products came along, an app, a collection of best-selling recipe books, a podcast, a huge social community. I mean, it's amazing. And I'm thrilled to be joined by the founder, Ella Mills. Hi, thanks for having Hi. me. Thank you for putting us in. You are so busy. I know you have... God, just reading that whole list of things you're involved in sort of makes me a bit... <laughs> me too, me too. Um, anyway, thank you for coming back. It's lovely to have you on the show. Um, we're going to do a quick fire round. Yep, I'm ready. We did this with Kat Healy the other day, and I think we had 10 minutes of 20 questions. Okay. So it's fast. Yep. Are you ready? I'm ready. Can you tell us what is your favourite recipe at the moment? Vegetable orzo with coconut milk to make it creamy, miso for a bit of depth, and it's one pan. And my kids eat it. Uh, a snack that you can't live without? Ah, oh, chocolate dipped almonds. Oh, I, so I know, I feel like I knew you were a fan. In, I promise you, they are in the top shelf of my fridge right now. 
your peanut butter Oat snack bars. bars. I mean, they've changed my life. And the raisin ones as well. Oh, thank you very so much. Good. If you haven't tried them before, I promise, I promise, I promise, they are now in our weekly cardio. What's your go-to midweek dinner? Do you cook in the week? I imagine you're shattered and on your emails. I do. I try and get home as much as I can to, at like 5.30 to have dinner with our girls that are 18 months and almost three and then go back to work after at so seven. you eat early with them. Yeah, mm. as much as I can. Yeah. So we do a lot of very, very, very simple dishes like lentil bolognese that you can just batch yeah. cook and do with spaghetti. Um, things much like be veggie orzo, yeah. uh, veggie fried rice, lots of things like that. Um, what do you make when you're entertaining? Is there serious pressure? I do feel nervous when yeah. people um, come and eat at Don't our house. Don't fuck it up, Ella. Yeah. I do feel that. <laughs> if it's close friends, it's all good. Like my girlfriends have kind of been part of the recipe testing process of all our cookbooks and they're always, I feel confident there. But it's, I remember the first time, for example, kind of cooking for my father-in-law or some of my husband's friends who are maybe a little bit sceptical about plant-based but also have high expectations yeah. and that's when I panic. A mushroom ragu is quite a good yeah. one with a kind of walnut parmesan on the top. Mm. Um, that's just quite a crowd pleaser, okay. especially for people who, again, who are, who are a little bit new to plant-based, the mushrooms, and especially if you use soak puccini mushrooms, lots of dried mushrooms. My husband stir that through. Blue cheese and mushrooms, and he runs a mile, but he was eating them the other day and didn't know they were mushrooms. Oh, I know. So you can hide them. You can. Some people don't know. Can you tell us what your three best-selling items are from your range do you know what i asked my husband this because he he's the ceo so he has these are all like my the favorite data. questions Vesela. i know and he always he can't give me a straight answer oh. because i think it depends where you look at it right so some of our products for example our cereals they're a massive the part of, exactly amazing they're a massive part of our business but they've got an unfair advantage because they've been in stores since 2017 okay so they've had a bit of time okay so the chocolate gonna... dipped almonds okay are probably the fastest selling products but they don't have as much distribution as okay. the cereals so they technically wouldn't necessarily be as good but the oat bars the chocolate dipped almonds and the granolas are the kind of three heroes the orange dipped the orange chocolate almonds really good we're okay. doing them as a christmas special this year as like a limited edition christmas box and things oh. as well because yeah they're, they're be a big my, hit they'll be in my stocking i'm sure uh, right we're gonna move on to beauty yeah is there a makeup product you would die i mean dramatic um if they discontinued it dramatic but i i feel like the one i don't to concealer, I just feel like. Do we, do we have a brand? Yeah, I have got a brand. It's called Absolution. It's really not a nice package. Oh, sorry, it's not great packaging, but it's a really natural brand that actually works. Because okay. I think when you're looking at natural makeup, finding products that really work. They don't always look as sexy, do they? No, no, no they don't. But, but I think, work. Uh, but it actually does work. Okay. And um, yeah, at the moment, it is much needed. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite skincare brand? Mm, there's a few. Do you know what? The one brand, if they went out of business, I'd be devastated about it, is a um, brand called Josh Rosenbrook. They have the most amazing face mask. They're cacao antioxidant mask. We call it the glow in our house. My husband shouldn't say it's probably uh, publicly, he's but he's such a fan. <laughs> and um, you, you see... Okay. My friend's husband, every Sunday night, masks away. For makes sure, me, honestly. Me about it. Um, and it's like a thick, dark brown as well. So it's like very obvious that you've got a face mask yeah. on. But yeah. it is magic. Like oh, okay. absolute magic. Honestly, nothing has ever done one to my skin like it. We will link it in the show notes below. Um, what's the best beauty treatment you've had? Is there a treatment you have regularly that you swear by? I think recent discovery, I uh, micro needling. I'd oh, say. Oh really? Yeah. Just gently. I'm now I'm now like examining. I haven't your, had it for a while. Your face, which looks very. <laughs> so don't look too much, but yeah, at um, at Bodyism on okay. um, Westbourne Grove, it's the, just a gentle one. It's not. They don't kind of go really deep. Does it leave you red for a few days afterwards? Just like half a day. Okay. So you do have to go home afterwards. You can't go back to the office, but, but it's, it's really good. That yeah. Stimulation and okay. I've never tried it. I should. You should. It's it is magic, okay. and it doesn't really hurt. It's just a bit scratchy. Yeah, I think I could cope with that. Uh, do you have an exercise routine? Oh my gosh, I wish I could I say mean, yes to that at the moment. A bit, you know, at the moment, I am finding it challenging. Yeah. Um, but my go to is yoga. Yeah, yeah, that's, I just love it. So I keep going back to it. I've tried all kinds of hard things, as in like more hardcore hip yeah. style things. And I just, I just seek, I hate them. Oh, I know it's not fun. I had one this morning, 7 30. I was like, oh, well done. Gotta be done. Uh, if you had a guilty pleasure. Go on, tell oh, us, tell us a really, when you break the rules, what are you doing? Can I just say though, and I hate, I hate to be that person, but I hate the phrase guilty pleasure. I know. Only because I feel like you shouldn't feel guilty, right? You should just like have a 
Steve deep fried Snickers. I think you should feel a bit guilty. Be I haven't tried. Deep fried I haven't tried a deep fried Snickers. <laughs> no, I if either. I'm honest. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, like everyone loved chips, love pizza, love all that sort of thing. With mayo. Oh no, mayo freaks me out. Oh, truffle fries. Always does. Truffle fries. Delish. Delish. But yeah, I might. I would be much more ketchup than mayo. Mayo really. There's always. Pit of no, there's something no, about like the texture it. of mayo is just not right. Uh, okay. Uh, it should be bound, really, along with Tamara Slaughter. That's what I always say. I would agree with that. Uh, <laughs> what's your fave? I mean, what's your favourite London restaurant? Oh, gosh. It's a, do you know what? It's actually our local Italian. Is it? Um, which is called Osteria Basilica. It's on Kensington Park Road. It's quite near where we live. And it's just like, it's so delicious every time. But it's also so family friendly. We go for Sunday lunch there every single Sunday Dude. without fail. Yeah, and they are really polite about having two toddlers there. <laughs> which, so it can't not be my favorite. Uh, best book you've read lately? Malibu Rising and the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Ward, Ev Evelyn Hugo. Hodge is nodding yeah. at Malibu Rising. Yeah, okay. so I've read those two. Fiction or fiction? Fiction, um, but kind of good fiction, I would say, but I've easy reading. I've heard about reading. that Seven Husbands the Seven one. Husbands of, yeah, it's Evelyn Hugo, one of the best books I've written in a while. Oh, really? Yeah, I really loved it. Best series you've watched watching? Just finished We Crashed. Loved that. Loving so that. So good. Us too. Yeah, we just finished it a few days ago. Just absolutely thrilled that the Kardashians are back. That is, that's a guilty pleasure. Ella, that is a guilty pleasure. Anyway, yeah, fun. I love it. And also, I like um, on also too, Ted Lasso. We just yes, finished I've that heard. as well. Yeah, that's really. Charlotte's mad about that. Yeah. Really uplifting. I've heard it's a comedy chaser, people tell me. Exactly. If you want something serious, then you need a comedy totally. chaser. Totally. Or so like, good at the end of a long day, it just yeah. like, it really warms your soul. Yeah, like Shit's Creek's in that camp. Like that, but but better. Yeah. I, sorry. I think I think better. Yeah. Oh my gosh, no, sorry. I should have said this. Best series ever is This Is Us. Ever. Is that the one with the creepy stalker something? No, no. It's um, Mandy Moore is the mum. Oh, uh, yes, yes, and, yes. And um, it is... It's about Sad, to end. Isn't it? Devastating. Yes, Georgina Blasky, our interiors editor, she is mad about it. It is, I think it's the best show I've ever seen in really? my life. Really? Yeah. Anyway, it's almost coming to an How end. How many series? I think we're series five now, and this is going to be the last one. Gotta watch it. Gotta watch it, gotta watch it. Okay. But it will suck you in, and that's that's you for a while now. Okay, no, I, I'm there, I'm there. Um Life. This this section is called Live. Okay. You are can I ask you how old you are? Thirty. Are you 30? Mm. Oh, you fell a lot. Yeah. That's amazing. How do you feel at 30? Do you go, oh my God. I mean, I know you've had your, and the business has evolved and pivoted and, you know, but I feel like you know where the business is now. Yeah. And what, you know, that feels quite obvious from the outside. Do you look back and go, this feels like a podcast chat, but do you look back and go, wow, and feel, feel quite pleased and Do you know what? I don't think I stop enough to think about it. Um, actually, but this week marks our 10th um, anniversary. Technically, it was yesterday. So that has been a moment, I think, to pause and think. You know, 10 years ago, I pressed publish on a WordPress site from my kitchen table as a student, and I'd made a recipe, recipe in inverted commas, sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I can't quite get my head around how I went from that to this. Yeah. Um, and it does, I think it's moved so fast and we've gone up and down and all around. It feels like we've been almost in a washing machine for yeah. the last, certainly the last five years. That it almost feels so blurry yeah. that you can't remember what it was before. Yeah. Except the fact it was really, really, really different and life was very, very different. And yeah. also throwing two kids into yeah. the mix there. Mad. Mad. Um, what's the secret to a happy marriage? Is it working with your husband every day? Okay, believe it or not, I think that has been a huge part yeah. of our marriage. We do completely different things in the business. A hundred percent, it wouldn't work if we had really similar strengths and weaknesses. Mm. We are polar opposites. So I do all things brand. He's a CEO and does the traditional role, finance, supply chain, commercial, etc. Snooze, gotta be. Gone. I think so. I think <laughs> snooze. He loves a spreadsheet, so everyone's winning. Yeah, mine too. Mine too. Exactly. So it's perfect. But it, whilst it can be challenging at times, of course it is, and it sometimes makes it hard to have boundaries and ability to switch off. You do have this. But it depth. also unites you, doesn't it? Totally. And you have this depth to the relationship and a total understanding of someone, kind of in the most intricate way. Like yeah. I know every single part of him yeah. because I see all these different layers, all these different experiences, and I feel like we can support each other in a really unique way yeah. because I 
I totally understand when he's stressed and vice versa yeah. because we're we're so kind of attuned to. Yes, you don't have to, to dig around. around. I have to dig around sometimes. I mean, there's been a crap day. I'm like, mm. oh, just gently pretend, peel off the nails, don't eyeball. Totally. And try, but you know what's happening. And or if you say, oh, look, I, you know, actually, we, we can't do this. We've got to cancel this. I think we've canceled 17 holidays now since we've been working together. But we, it's not a problem. Mm. Is it? Not to say it's not disappointing, but you you never are frustrated with the other person because it's never the other person mm. letting you down because we both totally understand yeah. what we signed up to and the responsibility and there's a sense that you're in it together so yeah. yeah you can celebrate together and that is amazing but i think it's actually being in the trenches together when things are bad yes. and any and startup really scale up experience you have moments where it's really really bad mm. and it is it's so mm. bonding so funny. And you're never going to be that couple that sits in a restaurant with nothing to say to each other. No. You know, I look, I'm like, oh my God, I really hope you don't end up with like them because they haven't literally said a word to each other for the last 10 minutes. So you'll always have something to talk about. Exactly. Uh, what's your approach to parenting? If you could sum it up, because I'm getting cards flashed at me, I'm going to be in trouble and you've got to get to a meeting. Uh, what's your approach to parenting? Oh, trying to be as relaxed as possible, easier said than done. And I think completely accepting that you cannot do it all, I think is the number one for me. I feel like I kind of crucified myself to begin mm. with, trying to be all things to all people at all times. Yeah. And actually it wasn't making me good at my job. It wasn't making me good as a parent. And actually trying to find, I don't think there is the right balance. I'm not sure anyone could ever find the right balance. Certainly not for more than like an hour. Yeah, but I've not found it. I think realizing <laughs> that you can't, yeah, you just can't be all things But also just times. accepting that. It is that's been the biggest grace, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, what haven't you achieved yet? Gosh, so many things. <laughs> Balance. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a bucket list thing that you want to do in the next decade? Do you know what? One thing we'd love to do at some point, we really want to take a, like two months off. We want to do a round the world trip. Oh. That is our kind of number one thing. Start around Thailand, Cambodia, Lao, go towards New Zealand, Amazing. all around California, do a road trip there. So that's our, that Take is our... Take a bit of... Okay, two final questions. Yeah. Can you tell us one thing we don't know about you? I hate lettuce, hate cucumber. You there hate There are lettuce. a few things I probably that's shouldn't hate. We there we go. Wonderful. Who would have thought delicious Liana <laughs> hated lettuce? Uh, and finally, what's the next new thing in the business other than growing the food category, I'm sure? International. Yeah, so we just launched in Austria last week. We're about to launch in Germany and our marketing director just moved out to the US to um, start plants out there. So obviously that's all been on pause for the last two years or so mm. with COVID. So that is kind of, yeah, next steps. Well, if they've got good taste, then I'm sure they'll love it as much as we Fingers will do. crossed. Thank you so much, Ella. That was such fun. We've taken far too long. But anyway, I love chatting to you. To find out more about the brand Deliciously Ella, visit deliciouslyella.com. Now it feels like every five minutes, a uh, celebrity is launching a skincare range. Uh, Ella, I think you should be next. Uh, anyway, who better to tell us which the best ones are than Adiola Boyega? Celebrity beauty brands are popping up everywhere. So I've done the hard work and I've whittled down my favorite products and brands that I feel are worth the splurge. Now, if you don't know who Selena Gomez is, she's an American award-winning actress, singer, producer, and she's launched her own brand called Rare Beauty. Now, one of the products that I really enjoyed using from the range is this pore diffusing primer. And it's really great if you're somebody like myself that suffers with open pores. It's also a great primer because you've got skincare benefits in there, such as hyaluronic acid to give you some long-lasting hydration but if you are someone that wants a very flawless look to your makeup this primer is definitely one that I would recommend now the next product from the range that I'm absolutely loving is the uh, tinted moisturizer with a broad spectrum of SPF 20 it's packed full of skincare it just gives you this gorgeous sort of look to the skin it blurs imperfections but it doesn't feel heavy at all now a product that I can't be without that I absolutely love is a facial mist I also love the names of the products this is called always the optimist facial mist it's a four-in-one mist it's great because you can obviously use it to prep the skin you can use it in between your makeup application. The mist is divine. It's not a heavy mist, so refreshing. It's got some great ingredients in there to really hydrate the skin. Things like sodium hyaluronate, niacinamide, which are fantastic ingredients to leave the skin looking hydrated and plump. So yeah, I definitely rate Rare Beauty. Now, the next brand I'm gonna speak about is a brand that I kind of envisioned happening, and that is Rosie Huntington Whiteley. She's got this gorgeous makeup line called Rose Ink. So there's a lot of skincare-based products, but it's all about sustainability at the same time. So the first product that I want to talk about is the Hydrate 
hydrating luminous concealer now i've gone for a shade that gives me quite a bit of brightness but what i really love the most about this concealer is just how beautiful the texture is so if you're somebody that worries about fine lines or if you're worried about your concealer kind of gathering in places that you don't want it to you don't have to worry about that with this i've just blended that and a couple of taps is all it's taken for me to get a really flawless blend so it's definitely a win from me now if you want groomed and polished brows then look no further than this rose ink enriched brow gel i've got the clear that i love to use but they've also got tinted versions as well the applicator is fantastic just to kind of grab every single hair and all you do is just brush it through and look at that it just gives this really beautiful sort of feathery fluffed up brow look. What's also great about this formula is that it's enriched with some strengthening ingredients to really help your brows. So you've got things like vitamin B5 and you've also got vitamin E, all really great ingredients to give you nourished, healthy looking brows. Now, Rosie is known for her incredible pout. So when she launched her range of lipsticks recently, everyone was really excited, including myself. It's a great range of nudes, some like lovely plum colors, all that work really, really well on different Different skin tones now what's really great about her lipsticks is that they are refillable and one of the things that I really love about her lipsticks is just how beautifully they sit on the lips they feel really nourishing they're full of botanicals and actives to keep the lips really nice and plump and hydrated Victoria Beckham's namesake beauty brand Victoria Beckham Beauty is a really beautiful range that merges really high performance products in luxurious packaging this product is actually the first product that I tried from the range and it was kind of my introduction to the brand that literally made me fall in love with Victoria Beckham Beauty and it was the Satin Kajal pencils. Now, as a makeup artist, I'm always on the hunt for a pencil that is black, that is matte, but has incredible longevity and this pencil is that. When I apply it on my eyes, I just love how it goes on really beautifully. So you can see that there. I mean, how quick and easy is that if you're looking to do an eye? So you've done that. And then using the smudging tool on the end, you can just smoke out that line and have this really lovely sort of sultry, smudgy, smoky eye look. I'm always on the hunt for great mascaras that promise to give me length and volume. And this one from Victoria Beckham Beauty, which is the Future Lash Mascara, is fantastic. I really love the applicator. It's this really great wand, which you can see here, it's quite thin. So it's great for getting right in between the lashes. It's a great formula and that's ophthalmologist tested and it's great for sensitive eyes, but really does deliver when it comes to giving you that lift and volume getting right in between those lashes there it's also great for the lower lashes as well i'm a massive fan of doing my lower lash mainly because i feel like it really opens up the eyes victoria beckham beauty also launched a range of glosses called the posh gloss which i absolutely love the name so there's perfect new colors for any skin tone my favorite one is this shade called poolside which is that perfect nude color and it's a great way to instantly amp up your lip look i love a glossy lip but look at that, such a gorgeous shade. But what I love about this formula is that it's a really lovely nourishing formula and it's not sticky, which you sometimes get with a lip gloss. And I just love the design and the packaging. Very, very chic. So yeah, if you wanna check out this range, definitely do so and you will definitely not be disappointed. Now, when I think about celebrity beauty brands and ones that are wildly successful, the first one that comes to mind is Fenty's range by Rihanna. So the first product I want to speak to you about is the Fenty Beauty Instant Warmth Bronzer, which you can see that I absolutely love because I've practically hit pan. Um, but as a black woman, you know, there was a massive misconception that black women didn't wear bronzer. Now for me, I love bronzer. Like it was always quite difficult to find the right shades and undertones that would allow me to achieve that really beautiful glow. This is in the shade Coco Naughty. I always apply it with a lovely fluffy brush and I apply it on the areas that I really want to get that warmth. So my forehead, just under my cheekbones, across the jawline and down onto my neck and my chest area. So next up is a product that I have multiple shades in my makeup bag but also in my kit as well. It's this, these are the Cheeks Out blushes. I love these. I love a cream product, especially a blusher. It just literally just taps onto the skin and gives a really lovely healthy flush of colour. So if you're somebody that's quite scared of blush, I would definitely recommend a cream formula and it just gives this really beautiful look on the cheeks. 
And then finally from Fenty Beauty, I wanted to include a highlighter. Now you guys know that I love a glow and this is a really beautiful formula. These are the Kilowatt Highlighter Duos from Fenty Beauty. I love this range because it just is a really gorgeous formula to give you that glow but it doesn't kind of create texture on the skin look how beautiful that is just to give that sort of glow on the cheekbone you can apply it on the center of the nose the cupid's bow even on your brow bone as well anywhere that you really want to kind of bring forward it's actually a cream to powder formula if i just swatch on my finger look at that glow guys really beautiful and just works really well on my skin tone as well. Well, I hope that you guys have enjoyed me delving into the celebrity beauty lines and their products, and also which ones that I think are worthwhile you spending the cash on. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care, bye. Thank you, Adiola, they all sound great and actually we are big fans of that BB eyeliner and that rose ink blusher. Next up we are back with Sky McAlpine for the last in her series at home. This time she's showing us how to indulge your guests with the prettiest of tables. So this is a table laid for a kind of lovely springtime celebration, whether it's lunch or dinner. I kind of my my way of doing it is always very similar. Um, I've got I've kind of gone for like really mixing and matching the plates. These are all plates from my tableware collection, Tavola, but we've done them in three different colours at the moment and we've got more coming and I kind of love having the different colours and it just means you can either be kind of more formal and have similar or you can go for like a real rainbow effect with lots of different colours. So you've mixed in like glasses and you, know, you can see you've got the blue and the pink and the red and the green, so lots and lots of different colours because it just feels very spring-like and summery and festive. And I've just added some flowers to the table because I think it just looks so celebratory. And, and what we've done here, these are the little bud vases that I do for Tavola. Um, we've got them in green and blue and pink. Um, and what I've just added is a single cup, very, very short, it's just a tulip, and these were actually at the end of their life. So what I did was I just very gently prize open the petals and then suddenly you've gone from having quite a sort of tight elegant flower to something that just feels like a firework like a sort of pop of color and you can see different tulips will have a slightly different effect and you can see this is a different kind of tulip I don't know what the name of this variety is but there's sort of the more elaborate um, petals so it looks kind of different when it's opened to, to, to this one which is just a simple white plain tulip so it's nice to have that contrast I think and then some clashing so we've got salmon pink or these hyacinths that are like a pastel sugar pink mixed in with the dark red with the white with the blue so just a real kind of clashing and then one thing that I think you can do to make it feel again very festive very much like a special occasion is do little handwritten menus um, so these are for a collaboration that I worked on with Papier and I love this marble print it's the same marble detail that's on my cookbook a table for friends and, and you can have these Papier you can actually tell them what the menu is and they'll print the cards with the menu for you I always like to write it by hand and then we've got little place cards and just add that there but equally you know if you don't have the menu cards even just like a fun postcard you could you can go to the National Gallery or something and buy a different painting for each person and then write the menu on the back so you've kind of been quite thoughtful and thought of a different painting, whether it's a portrait or a landscape or whatever of a different place for each person. So you can be really playful with it, but I think it's a lovely detail to add to the table. Thank you so much, Sky Gosh. You, you're such a joy to watch, that was beautiful. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much to Ella, Adiola, Sky, Patricia and Heather. On the next show, Charlotte is here with fashion from Nora Black. Tips and tricks to start a summer reset with nutritionist Gabriella Peacock. A five minute makeup routine and lots more. Please don't miss it. In the meantime, we would love it if you give us a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye bye.